Hey guys, welcome to game two of the second set, which there's a bit of confusion in Twitch chat, so I want to make sure I'm explaining this. So Fighting Spirit Mania is, at this stage of things, a best of seven of best of sevens. So there's seven sets, which you can see now in the nice uh, overlay. So there's seven sets. And to take down a set, you need to win four games which is why there's a best of seven. So this is the second game of the second set. So thus far, Rancor has won, or sorry, Masuchi won the first set. So he's got one set down and needs to win three more to advance uh, in the winner's bracket. There's also the loser's bracket, which is also best of seven, best of seven. Uh, so this is the second game of the second set. So potentially there it could come down to 49 games. That is correct. Upper left-hand corner, we have Masuchi starting as the Zergling Green, Zerg, bottom left hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the yellow Zerg. This time things working out for Rancor. Looks like he might get an Overlord Scout into Masuchi's base, be able to get eyes, whereas Masuchi is going to be delayed in scouting information on the opposite side of the map. Thus far, and yeah, just in case, uh, hope if, if it's too confusing, let me know. Hopefully you guys will, but yeah. This is Fighting Spirit Mania, and there's a huge, it looks like we're seeing an over pool opener. And gas being grabbed for Rancor. I actually like him moving more. I, I honestly feel like he should just stick to this build order across the board because it has the most. Um, or never mind, he went for. Where am I blanking here? So he went uh, over pool into nine pool. I have not seen. I have not seen this build order. Period. So he went for Overlord on nine, and then pool on uh, ten. And so anyway, this is going to put him a little bit behind. Masuchi's comparative build order, but not by a large margin, I believe. I should have paid more attention there. Missed it a little bit. Anyway, Overlord Scout is going to go ahead and see things coming into the base. I was too busy talking about set theory uh, to sneak this. But yeah, so point being, Rancor is going to be a little bit economically behind as a result. So Masuchi once again getting the economic lead. So here at that hatchery being planted, which lets Rancor know he, he should have at this skill level, he should know basically what his funding pool is up to. And I get the arguments, you don't watch Brood War for math, you watch Brood War for Zer violence on violence in the RTS setting. Rancor doing a, wow, already planting a creep colony to deal with the Zerglings and immediately going to Lair. Just going to skip, he just wants to go straight to Mutalisk and try to win the game from there. Not even going to bother with Zergling speed, it looks like. He is just pumping drones and somehow up to 13 drones. With this, he will. With the Overlord in position, he is going to be able to spot how many Zerglings he should build. And I actually love the strategy behind this. He's like, I got an Overlord in your base. So I know exactly what I need to produce to counter what you're throwing at me. And you don't have that advantage. This is kind of one of those variance plays. The drones will potentially have to pull off the line. And this is the other thing. Masuchi doesn't even know whether he, he should send the drones or send the Zerglings or not. So the Overlord hovering. Lair significantly behind on Rancourt's side, and another base, in-base hatchery. Single Zergling moving out to go ahead and scout things. So Masuchi is gonna be able to see what he's up against. He's behind economically, he's behind in tech. So things not looking good thus far. He might need to go for a Zergling flood himself. This initial Zergling going to get wiped out, which is not gonna help his cause. And he sees that Spire on the way. The Zergling starting to move out now. A second Sutton Colony might be requ required. It looks like Rancor is building that second Sutton Colony now. To go ahead and deal with this the question is is will it be sufficient and will it be in time those zerglings are streaming across do they have speed i believe they might have speed they're getting there in a hurry so the zerglings flooding in the something calling about halfway and masuchi pausing briefly the drones might have to come to defend and that something colony is perfectly placed to help defend this hatchery and masuchi attacking the hatchery rather than going for that something colony so this is in place and that spire is halfway done a couple additional zerglings being built and rancor two drones ahead way ahead in tech and way ahead economically this is where masuchi might want to think about plopping an evolution chamber down to try to turn around and recover this this overlord being evacuated let's see if he's going to go ahead and do that with this yeah evolution chamber dropping to try to play the recovery game but this is going to give rancor at least early game positional advantage now i'm starting to see actually how modern zvz could especially in this style of play could have pushed back into uh and actually not even going to bother with the Spire. He's got the layer up, not bothering with the Spire, dropping two creep colonies in the natural expansion. Already has one, or sorry, at his main, one at his natural expansion. So he's going to bunker up rapidly. 
In the meantime, Rancor hasn't seen that. He's producing a lot of Zerglings because he wants to just go, it looks like Mutalisk Zergling, and actually, never mind. So he's got just a few Mutalisks, but without vision, what he's going to do is go for a Zergling Flood to counter this. So what he knows that his opponent is going Spore Call and needs to deal with this. He's going to play the mind game and go the opposite direction and build a Zergling Flood. But it looks like Masuchi already potentially anticipating this is all of a sudden up a drone and actually has decent attack forces on the ground. Overlord taking a hit or two. This Mutalisk's running up. But this has to be an indicator to Masuchi that only a single Mutalisk is attacking that Overlord on the corner. The Zergling's running forward. It looks like additional Zerglings are being built. And now Rancor once again in a situation where he needs to do damage because he's down economically a little bit, particularly not having this natural expansion. Once again, engaging. Again, having some Zerglings out of position. A nice SimCity playing really well for Masuchi. But this time, four Zerglings do manage to break out. Working on the Spore Colony there. This Mule is grouping up. This isn't putting Rancor in the red. This Mule is taking a bit of free damage. Some drones getting picked off in the in a nice defense. So Rancor up two drones and no additional Zerglings making their way this direction though. Getting another drone. So he's up three. And did pick off an Overlord. So Rancor well ahead now in the mid game. Going ahead and grabbing his natural expansion. Critically, keep in mind it's that second gas. If you can get that second gas up, it means a lot more than just the minerals to work with this larva. A lot of Zerglings have been produced. Mutalisk is going to run across. He wants to try to deny information to Masuchi. Masuchi is going to see that natural expansion in production. But a lot, and also going to see the five Mutalisks out in the air. So now additional Zerglings being produced and more Mutalisks being fielded. So with a bit of micro, actually, a bit of harassment micro, what Rancor could do is, is try to draw Zerglings out and kind of pick things off the corner. And force things on that side of the map while he continues to drone off and potentially gets his natural expansion up. He needs to be careful with this Overlord moving too far in. So he's looking for areas where he can kind of eating a little bit of free damage, picking off a Zergling or two and eating a bit of Mutalist damage and is happy to do so. He's going to go ahead and back off now and let the Mutalist count grow. Somehow things have evened up. Masuchi doing exactly what he needed to do. So despite all of that, despite losing an Overlord, despite losing a lot of Zerglings, how did he do this? He's got, maybe just because he felt stronger in a defensive slot, but he's got the four Spore Colonies down, which is fewer than the two something colonies that were cost in between. And yet somehow he has evened up the drone count. Something Colony dropping at the natural expansion. Second Gas is up. That is a critical bit. Some Mutalisks moving out a little bit too aggressively for Masuchi. I think he was hoping to pick off an Overlord. Did he pick off an Overlord? I don't think he picked off that Overlord in the forward field. Yeah, that Overlord took a bit of damage. Sorry, I missed that uh, bit of action. But critically, Rancor able to get that second Gas up. Masuchi now down two drones, but he is getting that natural expansion extractor up himself. And while Rancor has the lead, it is the thinnest of margins. Zergling sneaking out again to try to get a bit of scouting information. This extractor with a decent amount of Muta Micro might be able to pick that off. The Mutalisks are going to go ahead. They're dragging to go ahead and try to trail. It looks like some Scourge are going to move out to scout exterior locations. This Zergling just going to check to make sure that an, a third base has not been grabbed. But as far as raw Mutalisks count, it looks like you got 10 Mutalisks on both sides of the field. Armor 1 is being upgraded. I don't think armor... Oh no, never mind. Armor 1 is done. Armor 2 is being upgraded. And is this just armor 1 just starting? So Rancor, that's where the difference was in minerals. Getting that early Mutalist armor 1. This is still going to give advantages in the mid game. The Mutalist once again moving out. Masuchi is lucky that Rancor wasn't able to capitalize and get a bit of free damage and maybe even picking off a Mutalist pretty rapidly there. So Masuchi needs to continue to play defensive. Rancor has map control. Honestly, he could grab a third. He's got some Zerglings blocking the ramp. Is just continuing to try deny information. He doesn't have to worry about Zerglings. He just has to worry about Masuchi being able to mount a superior Mutalisk force and then not being able to counterattack that. The Scourge kind of patrolling in between here for vision, and he's also checking that third base just in case that was getting snuck. Rancor up three drones. So now it is that this is the part of ZVZ that honestly, it boggles my mind. And it's like, how do these guys know precisely what to produce? Full grouping of Mutalists is here for Masuchi. Full grouping, it looks like, basically, for Rancor as well. 
And you can see just the thinnest of margins. Rancor up in supply, which suggests he has more Mulisks out in the air, but also up two drones. And that count is continuing to grow. And this is the spot where it's like, okay, how do you know when to attack? How do you know to build yet more Mutalists? How do you know to, to sneak a drone right here or there? Or to sneak a, a, a hatchery? It's just amazing. I always find it incredible. It looks like that Scourge gets... Did it land? It looks like it land... No, it got picked off uh, before landing. So nice bit of micro there. It looks like the other one also got picked off at the 12 o'clock location, unless it decided to dive in here. I wish we got kill counts on Spore Colonies to be able to see what's happening. A in-base third hatchery being grabbed to try to equalize the larva count. And the Mutalisk count continues to grow, but as Rancor still holding the thinnest of leads, he's still not pulling ahead significantly in the overall, despite like a, a hatchery. And I think the difference might be, again, in these upgrades, uh, potentially. You can see the difference in minerals there. Level one armor, not online yet. It looks like it's just gonna finish. And I'm wondering if Rancor is gonna try to sneak in for a level two armor timing of some kind. Uh, he's building a swarm. I think it's a, is that even like, is a swarm the right term for this? A bunch of Scourge to potentially do that. He's also going to grab a hatchery here at the 6 o'clock base. This looks like it's going to get scouted by Masuchi, though. Masuchi sneaking into the 6 o'clock location. It looks like he's going to find it as, actually sneaking right underneath that Mutalus cord. And that is a huge bit of information. And the Zergling's still free. Look at this Zergling. What a ninja. Also finds the Sutton Colony at the Natural Expansion, but that, that's a lot of information. I'm not entirely sure, though, how Masuchi's going to be able to capitalize on it, aside from just build more Mutalisks, knowing that he's going to have that 300 count, comparatively. A large Mutalisk army on that side. It looks like a large amount of Mutalisks on the other side. Scourge still patrolling at the 12 o'clock. Another Scourge scourge at the uh, interior location, just trying to deny that information. But that Zergling may be looking, lying in wait to potentially strike here at the 6 o'clock and create a bit of a distraction. Pick off some drones. Level one weapons now working. Level two armor up online for Rancor. It looks like he is not gonna just dive in once level two armor is hit. And I'm gonna be honest, I, at this stage, I'm not sure. I think Masuchi might have more Mutalisks overall. Drone wandering out. Looks like some drones being transferred and a third gas being grabbed. Some Zerglings moving in. Masuchi moving out with a huge amount of Mutalisks. Keep in mind the armor advantage is not there. Rancor spotting it, re-engaging, and now the big fight. Masuchi eating a lot of free damage and now backing off the Zerglings flooding into the 6 o'clock, so he's going for a pincer attack, looking to engage with Zerglings at the 6 and force the Mutalisks out of position at the main to try to get advantages there. If he can take down this hatchery, that would be huge. It looks like he is getting drones. The Mutalisks engaging right there, but the Mutalisks looking for a counter now at the main, the Mutalist is diving at the 6 o'clock, quickly trying to re-engage. But drones look like they might get picked off in the interim. A brilliant counterplay by Masuchi, which might have given him the lead. We'll see. The Mutalist flock incoming and re-engaging. I'm obligated to say this, by the way. That infested high. Two Zerglings pounding away at the 6 o'clock. Four Zerglings in production. More Zerglings flooding at this location. And Masuchi... Continuing to try to aggressively move back and forth. It looks like some Scourge engaging this. A handful of mules broken off to go ahead and save the 6 o'clock base. And now, Rancor, that might be the winning maneuver here. Potentially, for Rancor. Finally able to pick off a very difficult map. That Overlord going to get picked off as well. That's a big win. However... Rancor needs to back off with this inferior flock of Mulus. It looks like he lost two Mulus for that, so I'm not sure that was the best exchange. Now, Masuchi trying to take his 12 o'clock. That Scourge is not in position to scout it. Let's see if he can sneak it. More Zerglings flooding into the 6 o'clock, still trying to take out that base. Finally, a, a Creep Colony and a Sunken Colony going to be planted there, but Rancor down on the overall drone count. Briefly, as that happened, that, this is very, very tentative situation. More Zerglings flooding across. The Mutalists, are they going to catch the Zerglings as they're coming? They miss it, and I don't know that a single sunk colony is going to be sufficient to save this hatchery now. So the Zerglings flooding in before this is finished. They're just going to focus on that hatchery. That hatchery is, in fact, going to get taken out. And Rancor flooding back. He still has a superior Mutalist count, but Masuchi finding ways to stay in this match. If he can get that 12 o'clock... The, the problem now is, is this is... Looks like, a, is he going to immediately redrop re that? That 12 o'clock location is completely vulnerable now. But does Rancor know about it? I assume he does. 
He's moving up to that 12 o'clock location to try to force a fight there. He's picking off some units along the way. He doesn't have an entire Muni fleet, however. Splitting off a handful to engage. As a handful are having some trouble engaging, it looks like another grouping splitting off. They're not engaging yet. And another flood of Zerglings moving to the 6 o'clock location. However, there's no hatchery to attack there anymore. And the rest of the Mulisks, unfortunately, out of position. Rancor being a little bit uh, outmaneuvered here. Finally, the Mulisks engaging at the 12 o'clock. A couple drones moving in that location. And Masuchi can't defend it. This is turning into a great ZVZ. This is the ZVZs I wanted to see out of these two guys. Yeah, not able to engage there. It looks like the Zerglings were cleaned up. Another hatchery being dropped. The drone's trying to pull out. They're both getting picked off. The hatchery just being left. Actually, that would be brutal. Just leave the hatchery up. Let it continue to try to build drones or something like that. And just kind of slowly pick away at it. Just leave it weak so it's like a forced defense location. In the meantime, level 1 weapons working on the way. Level 2 carapace is online. Level 1 weapons there. The Mulisks for Masuchi sneaking across the wings. These Mutalisks not quite in position. It looks like finally they've been scouted. But they might be able to get a handful of drone kills. And some Zerglings flooding across. It looks like those Zerglings aren't going to be able to get a lot accomplished. But Masuchi doing everything he can. Able to disrupt gas counts critically. How many Mutalists does he lose, though? Rancor trying to staggered engage. Able to pick off one Mutalisk. Rancor still ahead in the count. But Masuchi is really making a game of this. Is he just going to dive in? Now he's just going to dive in and engage. One Spore Colony down. More Mutalists engaging. And Rancor's had enough. He's just engaging over the natural expansion. Zerglings are running down the line in the interim to try to create a counterattack situation. But I think Rancor does have an overwhelming amount of units at this stage. That natural expansion is sack. Zerglings flooding into the 6 o'clock and Masuchi calling GG right there. What a match. Finally, Rancor takes down a game, but wow, was it a fight to take that game down. This is the, the quality of matches I was expecting, by the way. Good one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Rancor takes his first win in this series. Thanks for listening.